Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Concept Guy and in this video we will talk about dimensionless numbers in mass and heat transfer. So these are actually present in our books, okay, we can really easily go through them but the main problem is that we tend to forget these numbers. Why so? Because there are so many numbers, literally there are many like Reynolds, Schmidt, Sherwood, Nussel, Prandtl and blah blah blah. So the list goes on and it's really difficult to actually memorize these numbers uh, till death maybe or till some examination that we are going to face recently. So I will make this video on the different numbers, okay, various numbers and we will find some really tricks and tips to actually remember these to eternity. Okay, so first of all, let's move on with our first very basic number that's Reynolds number. I know most of you know it already but still let me just put it on the first number one number because here we start with the momentum itself so what we do here is so guys let's just take the pipe okay a pipe we take here the fluid flows and puts an inertial force opposing to which is a viscous force okay this is my viscous force mu and this is my inertial force that is mv okay so, so so then this will be my inertial force okay this will be my inertial force inertial force upon my viscous force viscous force that's my reynolds number okay and so what we see here we are considering two forces in Reynolds number let's write the fi final formula that we get um, so the formula is really simple as it is just rho V L upon or D instead of this L sometimes there is D also the diameter so rho V L by mu okay this is Reynolds number, the simple formula and this rho v is actually from uh, signifying mv that is momentum okay and hence the upper part is inertial force this one and the lower part signifies viscous force. Let's move on to the next number that's myth number and here we can see that there is an m and there is a t. Here m is mass okay m a double s mass and t is transfer okay so it's a number of mass transfer and uh, let me rub this okay m and t and a similar number to this is my brandled number brandled number okay and here we see there is also a T here. So for Smith number, we take M, that's mass, mass transfer, and here it is for heat, heat transfer. Okay. I hope it's clear, and you all know this already. But let's just see how to rem remember the their, their formulas. So Smith number, we took first the momentum in Reynolds number. Now we take mass and momentum. So momentum came first in this Reynolds, so momentum will be upper, this upper part will be momentum and this lower part will be mass. So write momentum, okay, I'm writing it short, it's momentum and the movement, Smith and Prandtl numbers, here also we considered movement in a pipe, okay, they were because of momentum. Here also we will take a movement, that's why there is a diffusivity because this is our second number, okay. So here is momentum diffusivity divided by mass diffusivity. That's as simple as that. That's how we remember M and T mass transfer. This is the second number because of which we compare it with the first and therefore this momentum is there and we compare momentum with mass momentum being on the upper or uh, that's the numerator because it has more weightage similarly for Prandtl number again momentum 
uh, momentum diffusivity and let me kind of make this lens short and there is heat there's a heat transfer diffusivity uh, that's thermal diffusivity okay that's thermal diffusivity okay so what are their formulas let me write it so let me rub this and momentum diffusivity is quite simple it is mu uh, which is actually equal to my mu uh, viscosity upon density and my mass diffusivity the molecular diffusivity is actually denoted by my d so it the number smith number is actually mu nu by d okay and here for the Prandtl number it is mu again mu because momentum diffusivity upon alpha thermal diffusivity moving on to the next number we have Sherwood number and for Sherwood number uh, again we need to see what we find here okay we find wood Sherwood number okay we find it has wood now we know that wood actually this wood doesn't con conduct heat okay so but it is actually a mass wood is mass okay so that's how we can remember that it is related to mass transfer only because this is the third number and here we will take mass transfer only for the first number momentum on the upper uh, numerator and momentum down then uh, actually not momentum down we are taking overall momentum no mass and heat then we take momentum and mass momentum and heat and now only mass only mass okay that's why we take it as flux okay so flux is like convective flux convective flux okay by conductive flux by conductive flux that's the Sherwood number okay and if you see this convective flux is actually the total flux okay uh, it is the total flux actually that means convective flux here is actually including both convective plus conductive which is also not given in most of the books okay and let's write their formulas okay so for convective flux we have uh, convection okay and here we need the mass transfer coefficient kl into concentration gradient and down here we need d the diffusive molecular diffusivity upon l okay and this is also delta c. so this will cancel and we finally have kl into l by d this is mass this is mass mass flux mass flux and we get these values similarly we have a number called nusselt number for heat transfer and for heat okay this is this was for mass but for nusselt number we have heat uh, let's take different color so for my nusselt number is similar to my sherwood number okay but for heat only heat okay it is also same convective heat flux to the heat flux due to bulk uh, heat flux uh, due to conduction okay so again here we take the h into delta t and down here we take k by l into delta t again delta t will cancel and this will give us h l by k okay and the next number will be our stanton number stanton number to be precise so stanton number is means that stand on okay 
so that's the remembering technique stand on here it is instead of d we have written d and stand on so what should stand on what okay so stand on now we need a heavy number a heavy number like sherwood which is quite big number like uh, uh, if you see the word limit here uh, the word length here is big so sherwood number okay is big so it's standing on and putting a lot of force over uh, your small numbers small numbers where the first Reynolds and Schmidt numbers so we will put Schmidt number and Reynolds number that's the Stanton number similarly for instead of Sherwood we can write Nusselt instead of Sherwood you can write Nusselt for heat and instead of SC that's Smith number you can put Brandel for heat okay and so the remembering method is stand on what should stand on the heavy Sherwood number that is so long word okay that should stand on these small numbers okay which were defined this was the first number this was the second number this was the third number okay and then we see here that the bottom part of this okay this bottom part is actually nothing but pack let number pack let number now how to remember this is that sherwood is standing on standing over this smith and reynolds and Smith and Reynolds are letting it to stand. It let let it it is they are saying Smith and Reynolds that let Sherwood stand on them. So peck let it is letting it to stand these numbers and the stand on number the Sherwood is standing on them. Okay, that's how we have done the packlet number that is SC into Reynolds for mass transfer for mass transfer and for heat transfer it is Prandtl into Reynolds because it is letting it to stand okay guys I hope you like the video there are much more numbers but these are the really basic numbers uh, and let's just hope I can cover more numbers in the part 2. Thank you.